Welcome back 930 eclipses aren't necessarily rare. They occur somewhere on Earth every six months, but having the paths of two solar eclipses, one annular, one total cross right over where you live in less than a year's time. Now that's something huge. It's easily a once in a lifetime event. So that brings up the question, has San Antonio been in the path of an eclipse before? Well, the answer is yes, it has. And as meteorologist Justin Horn reports, the event may be documented in one of our most historic structures. Eclipse frequency over a certain location is complicated and erratic due to all the factors involved. We do know based on documentation and math that San Antonio was in the path of an annual eclipse in 1673, 1683, 1737, 1831, 1919, and 1940. Total solar eclipses that passed over San Antonio are far more rare. The last time, 1395 and 1397. Advancements in science allow us to know they're coming. But imagine living in the 1700s when San Antonio was just a fledgling community comprised of indigenous people and Spanish missionaries. The annual eclipse in 1737 must have been a sight to see. And they, of course, would have been overwhelmed and overjoyed to be standing in its shadow. Those reactions came from Gary Perez's ancestors, indigenous people that call Texas home and often look to the skies. Always looking up, always looking up. We don't do that anymore and we should be. What they saw, they documented without telescopes and computers, developing a deep understanding. The stars and the skies and the planets reinforce our beliefs about who we are and what we're here to do on Earth. In fact, Perez believes they were so advanced in their understanding that they were able to do something extraordinary. Extraordinary. It's those algorithms that they developed with the way that they counted that actually was, they were able to predict these eclipses. Perez also believes that proof of that exists today within Mission Concepcion. Built in the 1730s at the direction of the Spanish missionaries, the influence of the indigenous people is evident by ties to celestial events. Perez believes you can see references to an eclipse in Mission Concepcion's construction. Some believe these were used to encourage the native population to convert to Christianity. While well, Perez believes the indigenous population were leaving their mark, an understanding of the skies. One of the more famous examples is the illumination of the floor during the Feast of Assumption. But could there be another example? We are inside Mission Concepcion, and this is the Assumption of Mary, the painting. And you can see she's standing on what appears to be an annular eclipse. Perez believes it's intentional. Meantime, Father David Garcia, who served as pastor of the church, says it's likely just a moon representing Mary being over nature. In both cases, it's clear that the skies are revered. And in 1737, during the eclipse, there was deep meaning for Perez's indigenous ancestors. The mitote, they were celebrating the snaring of the deer. And, uh, you know, that the snare of the deer is, is the setting sun. And that would have been one party, one heck of a party. And now, 286 years later, the population of South Texas will be celebrating again. Justin Horn, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.